Good morning and welcome to our show. Today we're going to talk about a really interesting topic. Have you ever wondered how was life after World War I? Well, today we're going to talk about that. World War I was a really important event in history of the world. And today we're going to talk about how was it living after this important event. Would you like it and enjoy? The 1920s, now is the roaring 20s, were a time of will living for some people. Their parties were bigger, the peace was faster. It was also a time of new emotions and new attitudes, or ways of looking at in the world. The 1930s were quite different. The Great Depression ended the good times of the 1920s. Millions of people lost their jobs and homes. People were hungry. Trade greatly slowed. The, the depression affect every country in the world. The radio, the automobile, and motion pictures all had been invented early, but it was during the 1920s that they became part of everyday life. The first American radio station opened in 1920. Uh, a couple of years, hundreds of stations began to broadcast. The automobile really changed the way people live. People could go where they want, when they want. Young people saw the car as a symbol of fun and freedom. The first talking film, The Jazz Singer, was shown in 1927. A year later, Walt Disney introduced the world to Mickey Mouse in a film called Steamboat Wheel. The end of the war brought new attitudes around the world. Many women earned the right to vote. They took more jobs outside home. More women wanted to go to college and, and earn their high school degrees. People have more personal freedom and they work less days a week. That gives them more time to enjoy life. Many Americans enjoy it going to Facebook games. By 1929, the United States was the biggest industrial power in the world. But in late October, the New York stock market crashed. Other markets around the world also crashed. The stock prices keep going up. When the prices came crashing down, many people lost all their money. The stock market crash started the Great Depression. This depression lasts until the end of the 1930s. Many people stopped spending money. Business could not sell the goods they made. The Great Depression began in the United States, but it was felt all around the world. Franklin D. Roosevelt was president of the United States during the Great Depression. He introduced a set of programs called the New Deal. This program put people to work. People worked to improve government and the land. The New Deal changed the way Americans thought about the government. Americans began expecting more from the government. Latin Americans, Asians, and Africans also suffer from the Great Depression. People who live on farms and grow food for themselves feel little harm. But farmers who raise crops to sell in the United States of, or Europe were greatly harmed. In Brazil, coffee was a major crop. But the late 1920s, coffee sales total 70% of Brazil's sales to foreign countries. But during the Great Depression, coffee prices dropped sharply. Brazilians made a lot less money. They could not afford to buy foreign goods. Brazilians had to be making certain products they used to buy from foreign. Governments from around the world tried to end the Great Depression. By 1937, things had improved only slightly. It was the start of World War II in 1939 that finally ended the Great Depression. Thank you!